There are some of you out there that are thinking, I'll just wait and give my life to Jesus after the rapture, if it even happens. It will happen. It is imminent. And the tribulation that will follow it is at the door. If you're looking at the world and you truly think normal is still coming back, then I don't know what world you're looking at. The only thing that is coming back, the only one that is coming back, is Jesus. And when he returns at this coming, only to the clouds, it will be to remove all those who have placed their faith in him alone for the forgiveness of their sin and for eternal life. Prior to that time of judgment, the tribulation that I mentioned. The rapture of the church absolutely precedes the coming time of judgment. God's wrath upon an unbelieving, Christ-rejecting world. If you do not want to be here during that time of judgment prophesied in the book of Daniel, throughout the Word of God, and with greater detail in the book of Revelation chapters 6 through 19, and you don't yet know Christ, you need to place your faith in Christ today. We are not guaranteed tomorrow. Christ could return tonight. You could take your last breath before tomorrow morning. What are you waiting for? Jesus desires for all to be saved, for none to perish, for all to come to repentance. And he made the way through his sacrifice on the cross and raising again from the dead three days later for any and all to be saved who will simply repent and place their faith in his work on the cross on their behalf. Please don't wait. Please do that today. The tribulation, seven years, 2,520 days, that includes but is not limited to world war, global famine, inflation, pestilences, martyrdom, global government, a world global currency that will require a mark on one's right hand or forehead in order to be able to buy or sell are all at the door. Those who receive the mark can no longer be saved. Read Revelation 14. Those that reject the mark will be martyred. People can still be saved after the rapture and during the tribulation, but if you're thinking that you will wait and you're not willing to place your faith in Christ now, what makes you think you'll be willing to place your faith in Jesus when it will cost you your life to do so? Please don't wait. Time is of the essence. Jesus is returning soon, and you do not want to be left behind.